Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Good day and thank you so much. Hopefully you've had as much fun as I've had today. It's been a great day and I could, I've got to finish it with a great interview. I've got Dr. Hussein here. She's going to give us, she's, uh, first of all, she's a pediatrician and a children's book author. And she's here about utilizing at home testing to determine cold, flu, or COVID. Dr. Hussein, welcome to the Valder BB show. Thank you for having me, Valder. Okay, I can see a test to determine cold or flu, but this COVID one is something new. Uh, tell me about that. So generally, when it comes to obviously mitigating risk and trying to be careful, we are, of course, recommending vaccination as part of the long-term strategy, but also frequent testing. And that's just what we're going to talk about today. Abbott's Binax Now self-test. That's really good. I went to recently went to a wedding uh, proposal and everybody had to be tested two days prior to coming to the proposal. And those people that didn't get tested didn't get in. So that's the reality in our world. It is, it is. And as we see more and more people get vaccinated, I'm hoping that we're able to kind of pair this together and do the best things that we can to mitigate that risk and keep everybody around us safe as well as ourselves. Okay, the holidays coming. What are some of the do's and don'ts? And I don't hear a lot of people giving us um, the rules for this holiday gathering, even though we're looking at the map. And in some states, the uh, COVID uh, hospitalizations are climbing up. So what are some of the do's and don'ts as we gather people for the holiday? So generally, when I'm talking to my family members about the holidays or my patients and guiding them on what to do, I have to tell them that I know we're two years in, but let's not forget the risks. And generally in the winter, these viruses, they're hardy, they're resistant, they thrive in that harsh, dry climate. We're all gathering indoors. We may have our masks off, but everybody has different levels of precaution. So let's not forget that. And then when we move forward, Let's not forget hand hygiene, Valder. You know, those are some important CDC guidelines laid forward, and it's an important foundation just going forth, right? Those are all things our family has taught us, our parents have taught us hand washing. And then, of course, if somebody is sick, trying to appropriately distance from them. And frequent testing is able to help identify who is sick. Well, I'm just falling in love with you, Dr. Hussein, because I hear uh, experts and I talk to experts all the time. They tell us for the holiday season about, you know, wearing a mask, getting tested, but they are no longer including hand washing. And I'm telling myself, well, what about washing your hands? I grew up with that. That's such an easy nope. thing to do. I so thank am you. a pediatrician and a mama to young kids. We wash our hands all the time. <laughs> and we all should. And so that's such a great and th easy thing we can do to protect ourselves. Okay. So as we gather, some people are vaccinated, some people are not. What do we do about that? I think that's really important to point out here. A large portion of the population is not yet vaccine eligible. You know, children 5 to 11 just became approved for the vaccine. So many of them are not yet vaccinated. When you're making decisions, that does take into account. That does come into a play. So I recommend trying to be careful when you are socializing with young children. So we try to recommend being around those who are vaccinated, wearing your mask when appropriate, being around those who have the same level of caution as you do. But let's say you're traveling. Car is going to be the safest way to do that. But if you are traveling by plane, that's why masks are mandated in airports and mandated on airplanes. But testing does fit in very nicely into that strategy. You're able to perhaps test before you leave the house and then when you return home. Luckily, in the box, you're actually able to get two tests. And we do recommend that second test be taken at least 36 hours after the first. 
Okay, and testing is uh, widely available. Uh, where do we go online and get some information? Because I think we need to have a list of do's and don'ts. See me, I would post it on the door. But anyway, it's not at my house this year. So <laughs> where do we find out the do's and don'ts? So you can absolutely find out more at www.binaxnow-selftest.abbott. But if you're interested in purchasing the test, you hit the nail on the head, Valder. It is available, readily available, at major retail stores and at drug stores without a prescription by a doctor. So CVS, Walgreens, Walmart, for the price of $23.99, you can get two tests. They are nasal swabs still but you're able to get two tests that have results within 15 minutes that you can take at home. I suggest that we wrap them beautifully. Instead of giving people a Christmas gift, give them a self-home test, especially people who are having challenges making their mind up. Dr. Hussein, your wealth of information about children and about COVID, thank you for stopping by the Valder BB Show. I really appreciate this because this is going to help a lot of people. Thank you. I agree. It gives you that peace of mind when you're trying to make those decisions around the holidays. Thank you for having me. I'm Valder Beebe. I host the Valder Beebe Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.